Here we go. I apologize in advance. <laughs> hey, we apologize for Trevor yelling at you guys, but we just have one more speech so we can quit talking so he doesn't yell at you again. We'd appreciate it. <laughs> um, for those of you... Oh, they heard me. For those of you that don't know us, um, this is Nathan Woodrum. I'm John Murphy. Um, we're Trevor's friends and Grace's ex-lovers. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, so forgive me as I picture all of you naked. And with that being said, bridesmaids, you guys look amazing. Some of you out there, you too, Laurel. Some of you out there, not so much, but Laurel, yes. We're sorry if this comes off a little ill-prepared. We thought Joel was going to give a speech, but Trevor asked us late last night. Once he remembered Joel's an emotional drunk and he's going to tear up a little bit. Uh, if you want more details on that, just ask his girlfriend, Kenna, please. <laughs> we are a little surprised, actually, that Trevor and Grace led us to give a joint speech um, due to all the stories that we have about them. Nathan and I decided that we wouldn't tell any of those stories out of respect to the bride and groom, like the time Jeb, Trevor, Nathan, and I went to the grand opening of a midget strip club. <laughs> Unfortunately, Jeb was the only one allowed in. <laughs> But I think what John meant to say is we want to thank everybody for coming and celebrating our friends Trevor and Grace. A big thank you to the parents and the bride and groom for everything they've done to make this happen. Thank you. Also, a uh, big thank you to anyone that makes this a special night and day for Nathan and I as well. Thank you. <laughs> On a more serious note though, Trevor and I have been friends since around the time we were born. I don't have many memories with him um, from before fourth grade when he gave me a concussion that pushed me head first in the side of our tin shed with the dent is still there today. Trevor and I were both lucky enough that my brother Jake and I never heard us when we would call him Jakey, but I think Ed took care of that when he gave us the paddle a couple times for not listening to him and going to do his chores for him. In high school, we were both riding the bench in high school basketball because Paul Windsor would know we were both too good to even play varsity. We would bet on the outcome of our own games. Trevor, I still think you owe me $10 because I know that I guess Oryx would dunk on us five times my senior year. This is probably a big reason I have a gambling problem today. Thank you. In all seriousness. When I first met Grace, I immediately thought, how in the hell did Trevor Jenkins end up with a girl this good looking? It's Trevor Jenkins. The more, the more I got to know her though, the more I realized how good you two are together. You're both caring and loving individuals and I know would do anything for me if I needed it. I couldn't be happier for you two and I'm excited to see how your relationship grows. Grace, I do have a couple things to ask you during the marriage. First, as all of us groomsmen would say, please teach Trevor how to play blackjack. Second, when Trevor throws up tonight after probably two more drinks, still kiss him when he tries to kiss you. And finally, make sure he treats you the way you deserve to be treated. If he doesn't, you can always come back to your ex-lovers, Nathan and I. <laughs> Trevor and Grace, I'm very happy to be a part of your special day. Everyone that is here right now is here because they care about you and want to see you succeed. I couldn't be happier for the two of you. I'm happy to have you guys in my life and be able to watch your relationship grow over the last couple of years and the years to come. Thank you, John. <laughs> For a lot of you that wedding. don't know, Trevor and I are the only ones in the class of 2015 that started kindergarten and went all the way through. For all those years, we have a lot of memories together. Some good, some bad, and some I'd really, really like to forget. Although the ones I would like to forget are the ones that come to mind first when I'm writing a speech. <laughs> through sports, through school, and through life, we have been competing with one another. I think we all know who won most of those battles, so I won't get into that. <laughs> However, there's one big thing that Trevor got the best of me in, and that was finding an amazing woman like Grace to spend the rest of your life with. Trevor, the odds of you getting a girl like Grace are about the same odds that John Murphy had of pulling off a cowboy hat and boots in this wedding. <laughs> both pulled it off and now I live in a world where you are married and I'm 23 and single. 
But in all seriousness, Trevor, I'm really happy that you have found a woman as fun, spirited, and as amazing as Grace, and a person that truly loves you. Grace, I'm glad you have become a major part of Trevor's life. I have enjoyed getting to know you over the years, and although it took a while, I began to see what Trevor sees in you. <laughs> I think this happened when you guys were visiting me in Lincoln, and you bombed a beer in .5 seconds and left all of our jaws <laughs> touching the ground. Even Jake Kennedy. <laughs> it might also be the... <laughs> she could do it again. It might also be the fact that you can drink more than four beers without passing out or having to slide down the stairs on your butt because you're too drunk. <laughs> it's rare I'm ever around these two when they aren't smiling, laughing, showing us just how easy it is for them to love each other and be with one another. They love each other for who they are and continue to grow together and make the other person a better person. It has been fun being there during your guys' relationship, and I appreciate you guys letting be, let us be a part of it. Thank you. <laughs> By the way, Trevor, don't worry about Cassie making fun of you for three minutes, because I know that that is a lot longer than most people sitting here, and I hear that is hereditary. <laughs> Now that our speech is over, first I think it's amazing how many people will come to a wedding where there's free cake, beer, and free food, so thank you guys all for coming. I'm going to finish this one just the way Jeff finished his. First I'll let Nathan translate for that for you. I think what he meant to say is thank you all for coming. Please raise your glass for Mr. and Mrs. Jenkins once and for all. Congratulations.